The interesting thing about impeachment in the U.S. is that the support and opposition numbers have not moved that much. And in particular, since the highly televised uh, hearings uh, and uh, testimony of the last few weeks, in fact, some evidence that support for impeachment may have actually gone down a few points and opposition to impeachment gone up a few points. But the important thing is that there, there was no tidal wave of support or opposition. Americans uh, are pretty frozen on the issue. So uh, in terms of um, what Democrats consider, Democrats are telling us that the reason why many of them still support former Vice President Joe Biden is they feel that he's the best candidate to defeat uh, Donald Trump. Even though Biden has slipped in the polls a little bit and uh, uh, various candidates have taken their turn challenging him, that includes Senator Elizabeth Warren, uh, that includes uh, the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, Pete Buttigieg, who leads in a couple of early uh, primary and caucus states. Still, the uh, not consensus, but a plurality of Democrats tell us that, that Biden is the best person uh, to defeat Trump. However, uh, there is some concern among establishment uh, Democrats that even Biden um, may be slipping, and that, that is why uh, some of them have encouraged uh, the former mayor of New York City, uh, Michael Bloomberg, to, to challenge. Uh, so Biden, let's say, is probably the strongest candidate. Among the, those who uh, would be a dream, I think, for, uh, for Trump to run against, at least according to Trump, I think he would actually like to run against one of the, the more progressive candidates, like Elizabeth Warren. Uh, Trump has ridiculed Senator Warren, and, um, and there's a vulnerability to her. Now, she's a very good candidate, and, but her numbers among Democrats are starting to slip. And um, he has ridiculed her because she has claimed that she has uh, part Cherokee Indian uh, ancestry. And in fact, when Harvard Law uh, hired her uh, to a tenured position in the early 1990s, Harvard Law issued a news release saying, this is our first woman of color that we have uh, appointed to a tenured position. And of course, she's probably about one two hundredth of, uh, of Cherokee blood in her, certainly not enough to claim um, you know, that, that Native American heritage, and Trump has ridiculed her. She also has probably made a serious mistake um, in her support of Medicare for All, uh, which had been popular six or seven months ago, but she lacked clarity on how it would be paid for and also lacked clarity on whether those who are uh, presently insured and satisfied with their private insurance would be able to stay on their private insurance. I, I, th I think that the, Donald Trump has mentioned that um, he would very much like to run against Bernie Sanders. In fact, Bernie is a declared socialist. Now, that's something that doesn't scare uh, younger voters all that much, but it does scare older voters who link socialism with the Soviet Union, with China, with Venezuela, with, with Cuba. And we saw President Trump almost a year ago at his State of the Union message before Congress and the American people start labeling the Democratic Party as socialistic and soft on socialism. And essentially, that Trump would see that that would play into his base, especially if he had someone who is self-identified as a socialist as uh, his opponent. Well, of, of course, the, the president has 85, 88% support among fellow Republicans, uh, which is very high at this point in time. He has 90 plus percent support among self-identified 
conservatives. He does very, very well among voters who are 50 years of age and older, and in particular, 65 years of age uh, and older. He does much better against whites than he does against uh, non-whites and does better among those who have had some college, maybe one or two years of college and less. Uh, that is uh, his base. He is, of course, solid in the South and many of the mountain states uh, in, in the West.